Now, in this second part, I want to show you uh, how to work, so how to take again on the uh, needles, needle ne knitting needles, the um, stitches for the sleeve, how to work them and how to work them in round and how to decrease. So there are uh, three steps uh, that I will show you uh, in this second part and these uh, these steps are important for those of you that are um, beginners in knitting. First of all, but first of all I want to show you uh, some tricks that I actually wrote in my written instruction. If you have my written instruction, so if you uh, bought the yarn from my uh, shop uh, you have the written instruction for free and this is uh, a fact. Uh, now, if you have the written instruction, you uh, you will see uh, at, at some times uh, there is the chain chain board. And what is the meaning of the chain board? Look at it. This is the chain board. Okay, we have it on one side and we have it on the other side. And this is the chain board. So it's like a chain. And this board, it's very border, sorry. Uh, this border, it's very, or edge, it's very important when we work, uh, when we work anything. But for uh, the border that we will put after we finish the uh, cardigan, uh, the border on the front side and neckline, so we will go something like this. And it's very important when we will be pick up stitches, we will pick up stitches here on this chain border. Now how you will obtain this chain border I wrote on the written instruction and I think I uh, already uh, said in the tutorial but I want to show you. It's you slip the first stitch as if to knit if you are on the knitting side so on the right side as I am like this. You just slip it. Okay that's all to obtain your border okay uh, your border um, chain border and you will slip as if to purl on your wrong side okay so that's all now I will just uh, go on with the row so I can show you how to slip as if to purl too okay I'm already ready. So the last you just work it as normal and you have the chain. And now we will turn and we want to knit as if to, uh, to sorry. Uh, and we want, now we want to, we are on the wrong side and we want to pass, skip, uh, sorry, slip as if to purl. So when we purl, we put the yarn like this, isn't it? So it's like this, exactly like this that we will slip the first. That's all. And now I will just continue on with my uh, pearl my pearl um, row. And then second thing that I want to show you is the bind off with the crochet hook with slip stitch or single crochet. I use the bind off single crochet uh, with the crochet hook with the single crochet for the border around the front side and the neckline, obvious, because it's more uh, elastic, and this is what I want. I use the normal classic bind off with the needles for the sleeves, okay, and I also use it for the bottom part of the cardigan when I finished actually actually in length I use the uh, crochet hook I really use it I like to use it because it is I don't know okay this is the last I don't know from my point of view it's better that the classic the normal the the well-known bind off with the knitting needle and this is the bind off with the needle, knitting needle. So we pass as if to knit, then we work the second, we knit the second and we pass the first through the second and out of the needle. 
okay and this is how but now actually I want to show you how to how to uh, bind off with a crochet hook you need a crochet hook the same uh, size of the knitting needles so for the bind off as I said with the crochet hook we have to choose the same measure of the crochet hook so I am working here on this watch just to show you with four millimeters needles and now let me show you how to do it so we will slip we will actually kind of um, knit with the crochet hook okay so we slip as if to knit the first and we knit the first with the crochet hook it's a little bit strange but it's okay then yarn over and we just crochet a single crochet and this is how we will continue on so knit yarn over oops sorry knit yarn over and single crochet again knit yarn over and single crochet N uh, sorry <laughs> knit yarn over and single crochet and this is the um, elastic can you see it it's nice and elastic and it's perfect just, just perfect for what we just want so uh, we can also slip stitch with the crochet hook more or less as if the as uh, it is the knitting binding off but it's like this and we slip stitch instead of um, and um, this is it okay so this is the two ways uh, of uh, to bind off with the crochet hook because we are actually crocheters crocheters sorry okay now this is with the slip stitch and yarn over single crochet this is with the single crochet and now the last thing but not least before we pass to the uh, sleeve um, I want to show you how to put the um, how I actually put the button holes and one more thing how to pick up the stitches on the side from the chains okay so like this this is the last we can make the chain and cut the yarn okay now we have this the chain we have here sorry so can you see what a perfect lovely nice uh, bind off we have here okay now uh, what I want to show you as I said is how to pick up stitches so we fold like this and we will insert the needle into the chains and now this is the first like this and now we go on with the second keep it like this with the finger and pull and then third and pull and fourth and pull okay and this is how we will continue on all around the edge of the front side on the neckline in the written instruction you have how to work them okay that's it and now the button holes okay let's see for the button holes so this is one and uh, i really love them they are so cute now first of all we take the knitting needle and we chain we chain um the exactly the we don't need it very long okay we chain exactly the number of chains that we need for our button so to be Okay, we insert hook into the last chain and we just want to close in circle like this and we cut the yarn. Okay, this is what we have. This is our nice buttonhole. Now we go where we actually want to, uh, to sew it 
I'll put it here I will put okay from the uh, from the wrong side you just take the two yarns here and we put it like this okay we have it we have it we have it and now I will actually sew it with the sewing needle um, sewing yarn sorry and needle obvious so we just want to sew it in place okay to be just sure that won't go anywhere from here I will just sew it in place and that's all then we can cut these two yarns because it's already nice and tight nice and tight here and that's all here it is okay I want to make a needle knot and now cut this yarn and then we can cut these two okay and that's all look at these aren't they just cute okay so that's it now let's see how to work the sleeve okay so I'm back because I finished my the length and I want to work the sleeve I want to show you how to begin to work the sleeve how to put the decreases and so on what I want to tell you more is that I also worked a, a little border here just a little oh it's so soft believe me uh, just a little border and yes from here I, I wanted to work the buttonholes but I don't work them I will show you later on how to put some buttonholes if you want to uh, so what I want to say is that actually I put a little border and they work it only knit so it's all knit and this the same thing so I finished actually in length uh, the cardigan with all knit um, so only knit right side wrong side it was only knit for uh, 10 rows yes 10 rows and here I put only eight and when I worked this I changed from five millimeters um, needles to 5.5 millimeters needle because uh, I'm not a knitter, so you, you must know that I'm a crochet, crocheter, but I like to knit from time to time, so there are yarns that are mm, perfect for uh, knit, and uh, that's why uh, I want to show you how to knit too, because as I said, there are yarns or maybe some patterns that I like and I want to knit them, So and there are knitting, so I, I have to knit them. So, uh, what I want to say is that when you all, when you just knit, so right side, wrong side, you just knit, uh, it becomes a uh, um, tighten. I don't know why, just maybe it's only me that when I knit, I knit more, uh, more tight. And when I uh, purl, I purl more loose. I don't know. It's me. Maybe it's me. But I changed. That's why. Because uh, I was. Uh, I, d I didn't want it to be. Um, so to be the, the same length. Um, width. Let's say. Okay. And uh, this one I work it with 5.52. So the border around the neck. The, the front part. The front sides and around the neck around the neck if it's if even if it's not very large it mine was a little bit too large so this is the mm, way this is the mm, the moment that you can uh, make it not, uh, arrange it so put it uh, perfectly to fit uh, around your neck 
So from the first uh, raglan increase, from the first raglan increase to the last raglan increase, you just skip one stitch and uh, pull up the next. Skip one, pull up the next. And work two. One, uh, so skip one, no, pull up one, skip one, pull up one, skip two, pull up one, skip one, pull up one, and so on. No, no, not skip two. Um, pull up one, skip one, pull up two, skip one. So once you pull up one and then skip the next, then you pull up two, the next two, and skip one. Okay, <laughs> this is the formula. And you just continue on like this. Actually, I find this is the formula that I used. Okay, so as I said, I just want to underline I'm not a knitter. I like to knit from time to time. So this is what uh, I am telling you. It's from my experience that it's not very, very large. Okay, so uh, now let's see how to work the sleeve. Now, I always, for the sleeve, we will need to work in round. So uh, you will need circle, a circle neither, of course. Now, for the sleeve, I just want to divide in two equally parts. And they just go on like this. With one... Just go on like this. And don't forget, so it's very important to be, uh, to focus on this because we want, we want to be, we want to take all the stitches on our knitting needle, all of them. Okay, so here it is. Okay, now we have it. I have one, well, as you can see, two, and three more. And now I know that here under arm I put added two more stitches. I will take one of them, but before I have to add one more just because it's a little bit strange and we don't need... So we want to cover ugly holes. This is the one, and now I will take one more. And always when you take the uh, the stitches like this underarm, take two loops. Okay, this is the first part. And now I will take my second uh, needle and go on on the other direction. Okay, like this. It's really easy, this method. Method, I don't know. I, I just tried it. I felt better. I felt well with it. And um, this is how I am working now. And working in round, knitting in round is not that difficult. At the beginning was for me too. Now I have to put two more, you know, to add two more. This is one. And, or maybe... And put one here. Okay, this is one. And this can be the second. Maybe here. So it's, yes, this is the second. Okay, now we have them all. Now we can cut the yarn that keep kept the... Okay, I have to cut it. I have my... And we need a marker. This one. I will cut. Also, just be sure that you have all the stitches. Check another one. Another. Just one more time, sorry. Okay. And now, to work in round, it's not that difficult as I said before. We just need... like this that we have to be and we will put the marker on this one the back let's say needle and the front needle will be always so we will divide in two pieces like this can you see this okay and Always the front needle will be push like this. Always the front needle, so this one. And with the back needle we will work. 
this is the back this is the front it's like back loop front loop okay <laughs> so and the cable try to keep it uh, half here and half here okay and now we are ready to work so we will take our yarn just fold it like this leave a longer tail and this is the first yarn and you know we have two here for the first two we have two for the first two we have few it, it makes sense if we know what we did here yes this is the first and I am trying to insert hook through both it's not that easy I don't know why okay like this okay we did it and we will just put the yarn oops pull the yarn we have to just to pull the yarn through it yes we did it okay this is the very first one I work it like this so I just pull the yarn through it and now I will continue on with the second and so on we will always knit now because we work in round this is the second okay and just continue on with the other stitches to the end here and then I will show you how to continue on. Oh, because we work in round, you can also uh, change to 5.5 here too, if you if you think it's necessary. Believe me, it is a difference. When you work in row, you knit in row, so it's knit and purl and where you knit in round and it's only knit okay now I just go on and knit all the stitches like this now I am at the end I am like this now pull and we are like this I will turn again and now I will divide again and front loop <laughs> front needle push and back then the yarn another thing very important the yarn must be must be here like this so up like this not I don't know so it's it's fair. not under it it can be like this so this is wrong if you begin like this okay this is wrong and I will begin with the next and so on now uh, I decreased into the second row so around so this is the first I will just continue on and into the second I decreased first before and after the marker you will decrease always and in each of my fourth round I decreased okay until the um, circumference was good enough for me and then I, I just continue on with the stitches that I had I didn't count them actually I just I just went on like this okay so I okay and now this is how we will continue on for the length that we need don't forget to decrease and when you decrease now I have here two and two before and after the marker and that's why I will show you how to decrease and into the decrease row round sorry because we are working in round now oh here we have two and two so 
actually we just want to finish this row round so I don't decrease here because you know this is the last two stitches that are with two loops don't forget about okay this is the marker and these are the two after the marker so I will decrease these two and then when I come back I will decrease two before the marker so this is the first decrease that I put now because I put my first decrease here I will put the marker on and from now on uh, I will uh, decrease these two when I will be back and from now on I can count from the marker one two three and into the fourth will be another decrease and so on okay and I will put the marker again into that uh, decrease round and so on I can I can count them okay and here on the other sleeve on the other sleeve this is the last decrease that I did and then I just continue on with the stitches that I had because for me it was just enough okay so that's it it's uh, actually it's knitting it's not difficult at all there are some things that I I hope I covered so from now on you just pull like this to join actually the the round together and you always don't forget to turn you will turn and here we have the yarn we have to put the yarn over the needle now we divide again it's not important how just divide more or less in twice and this one the back no the front sorry will be push and this like this and now we are again ready to begin another round okay so it's pretty easy it's not difficult uh, if you have questions just ask uh, I hope you enjoy and I hope you will try it maybe with another yarn if you want to buy another kind of yarn not this one but something similar but easier to work with um, if you want to buy it for my from my shop I will be so very happy to advise you if you want if you are a beginner a, a beginner knit, knitter and you want to try this but with um, because with this yarn maybe it's a little bit more difficult uh, you can just ask me and I will be so very happy to advise you uh, of uh, a very a perfect yarn for a beginner okay to work with so the same uh, the same uh, thickness but um, something more easier to work with okay thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe if you like my tutorial so you won't miss another video of mine uh, hit the the bell so uh, when you subscribe uh, just click on the bell too so you can be notified when I upload a new video so you you will be notified in your mail if you uh, hit the the bell um, near the uh, subscribe button on the su subscribe button actually and uh, if you want to join my group on my crochet community on my uh, facebook on yes on facebook it's uh, crochet with one eye you can join and you can um share projects that you worked following one of my tutorials or more tutorials on idea you, you, you just uh, took one idea from my tutorials or you can just uh, send me photos on a message a private message on my facebook page or you can tag me on instagram if you want to uh, show me your projects that you did following one of more of my tutorials i'm always very happy to see them and don't forget i have a shop online and if you want to buy from me not only that you support me but i can advise you the perfect yarn for the project that you choose to work okay so just write me a email and um, from the contact us um, of the home of my shop you have the link below and i am so very happy to answer to all of your questions see you at the next tutorial bye bye